from Coors Field at the foot of the Rocky Mountains in Denver, Colorado. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the San Francisco Giants going up against the Colorado Rockies. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set. Today's starting pitcher, Connor Siebel. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Well, expect to see the ball in play a lot with him on the mound in this one, and that means the defense got to stay on your toes. I think he can help his guys out by working quickly so that guys don't have time for their minds to wander. He's going to try to force weak contact, miss the barrel of the bat. Leading Command and movement is everything good. for this guy. The Here's the veteran shortstop, Brandon, Brandon Crawford. Crawford. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. Brandon Crawford, a kid who grew up a Giants fan. His dad had season tickets at Candlestick Park and then at, what was it initially, Pac Bell Park. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a pitch. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Almost a coin flip for the umpire in that call, but most umpires just don't want to give pitchers a break up in the zone like that. So here's Wade now. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Line to left, and it goes just foul. And a ball and two strikes. And that's downstairs and outside. That's towards center. And there's one down. That is third. third. The second, second base is Tyro Estrada. Estrada. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time a little anxious. The batter will be Michael Conforto. The pitch. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Two outs. And yeah, that's outside. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. At the belt and fires. Tap to first. Montero. The flip to the pitcher covering, and the inning is over. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one left on. And now the Rockies will go on offense for the first time. There's no score. Back here in Denver, and today's starting pitcher, Kyle Harrison. What do you have on him, Siggy? Well, he throws the change in the slider off the fastball. I really like how he's able to sell 
fastball, but it's really change up and keep hitters just out in front a little bit. Swing and miss, soft contact. The slider as well comes out of the same tunnel. Go, All go. three go, very go, deceptive, go. and hitters are going to have to stay back and make sure they get pitch go, recognition. Go, go, go. So in now for Colorado, Charlie Blackman. The 1-1. One, one. That clips the corner. Foul ball still a one and two count. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from the same side throw as the hitter. I mean, it's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Slider right there. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. One down, base is empty. And that's outside. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And a pop up right side, foul territory. And puts the squeeze on that. Two away down. Batting third. No left field. No left. Jones. Two outs, space is empty. Now here's Nolan Jones. He's a left-handed batter who still comes up with good contact and a good average against left-handed pitchers. That one to first, and it stays fair. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, and that's a two-out double. Nice job keeping it fair as he turned on it down the line, and once it got through the infield, it was a double all the way. Here's Chris Bryant now. The pitch. All right, so you hit lefty. What makes it so hard to face a left-handed pitcher? Left-handers, they just seem to have different arm angles. So to keep that front shoulder in there and really discipline yourself can be tough sometimes. But the guys that do it well, man, I tip my cap to them every day. Next pitch misses, and now three and one. Three one now. Bounce to third, and that's just foul. He was a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. Man at second. And ball four to a board. Just missed his spot on the inside right there. That is it. The third baseman, Ryan. First and second, two down. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. The 1 1. And that one missing inside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And he deals. This one popped up. Crawford settles underneath it. He's got it. And the inning is over. Two left for Colorado. Scoreless after one. Top of the second. And here's the veteran outfielder, Jock Peterson. Number 23. John Peterson. Oh, 
The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not Pretty always well, easy laying off a 3 2 pitch, and I tell you what, he uh, earned that walk. Mike. Here comes yes, Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. Here's a 1 1. And that one off the outside edge. Mike Yastrzemski, originally drafted by the Orioles, 14th round out of Vanderbilt in 2013. The Giants got him in March of 2019. And San Francisco's really where he got a shot to play. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Double play ball to second. There's one. Relay to first. Double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. And here's the rookie center fielder, Tyler Fitzgerald. And the pitch. Ripped into right center. Base hit. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in. And into second easily with a two-out double. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Now the catcher up to hit, Blake Sable. There's a swing and a drive. Doyle going back, back some more, racing back some more. And it's off the wall. He's in safely at second. A run comes in on the play. That's two consecutive extra base hits for these guys. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Now here is Casey Schmidt. Next pitch just misses. Counts full, three and two. Line drive, base hit right field. Sable around third. He'll score easily, and they lead by two. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Here's Crawford now, open stance on that left side. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. And a 1-1. And misses inside. One pitch is in there, and the count is even. Righty delivers. Pitch misses. Three and two now. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. So now three and two. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, a game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. Flied out his first time. The 1-1. One -one. That one at the knees for a strike. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. Got him. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand.
But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Giants two and the Rockies nothing. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the second, and now here is Lowry's Montero. Montero. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. So up next, Ezekiel Tovar. Slow roller to third. Schmidt on the run. Sent it over to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Two outs, base is empty. Austin wins digging in for the Rockies. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. And that one is oh, inside. Okay. And the 2 2. And a pop up right side foul territory and that's a foul ball. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Batting done. The center so a man aboard stepping in Brenton Doyle. This guy's just a tremendously talented center fielder. Gold glove caliber type out there. Offensively, he can do some things, but you know, also has some streakiness as well. I think the key is just trying to find a way for him to be consistent day in and day out. You know, he saves runs in the outfield, so that's going to buy him more time to work things out at the dish. The next ball pitch two. misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Just missed. Three balls, one strike. The pitch. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. 3 2. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. The Rockies strand one. They trail it here 2 0. Back here at Coors Field, top half of the third inning. Now it's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. Estrada. Chopper right side gathers and throws to first and one away in the top of the third number eight designated hitter Michael and here is Michael Conforto 0 for one he grounded out to first his last time the two one that's ball three three balls one strike. Swing and a foul straight back. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. On a line, base hit.
Nice at bat right there. Not just the result, but also seeing a lot of pitches. Made him really work out there on the mound. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And now Jack Peterson. That one inside, and it's 2-1. and one. Left hand hitter waits. Oh. And there's a ball. Movement in the bullpen. Victor Vodnik getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Number 41 getting cranked up as well. The rope into right, and that's a base hit. Conforto around second, headed for third. In to score from first, it's three zip. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And at second with one away, Mike Yastrzemski up here. He hit into a double play his first time up. The 1-1. One -one. Ripped, but it curls foul. Kicks and deals. Got it by him for the K. And up next now for San out. Francisco, Tyler movie. Fitzgerald Tyler. doubled his first time up. pitch that one off the mark two balls and a strike looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up doesn't want to make another mistake runner at second two down out towards left center Doyle giving chase and an automatic double as it hops the fence. As a run scores. He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run. And that was always going to be a double. But the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of it right away. It was a nice swing. And it's scored position with two away. Here's the catcher, Blake Sable. One for one with a double and a run score. Next offering way upstairs. Swings and he pops it up near the pitcher's mouth. Makes a nice run and catch. And that is that. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Giants four and the Rockies nothing. Back here at the ballpark, Leading now it's Charlie Blackman. The designated, the designated hitter. hitter. Charlie, Charlie. Blackman. Blackman. Here's a 1 1. Slap the other way, foul. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the seven. inside part of the plate. Second Couldn't get around on it and catch Whoa, it out front. Yeah. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Kicks and fires. 
And now the count filled up three and two. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. And he walked him. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. And that is cut on and missed. And yeah, the count one and two. Stays alive. Next one misses. Two and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Left-hand batter waits. Grounder might be two. Glove flip for one, and it's a double play to end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. Three innings complete. It's the Giants four and the Rockies nothing. A new arm into the game, the righty, Victor Vatnik. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. So digging in, Casey Schmidt singled and drove in a run his first time through. Casey Schmidt. Hit in the air, right field. Bryant moves under it. And it's caught for the out. The bat, the short shot. Brandon back to the leadoff spot in the Giants lineup. Here's Brandon Crawford. Brandon Crawford, a player who has been a stalwart at shortstop for the San Francisco Giants, helped them win World Series in 2012 and 2014. And he comes from a line of Giants fans. His parents, Mike and Lynn, they had Giants season tickets. They took Brandon to games all the time growing up. In the air, right side of the infield. Wins makes the grab for the second out. Up next is Giants. The first baseman, Lamont, Lamont Wade, Wade Jr., Jr., the next to hit. The 1 1 is fouled off. And now it's even up. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. Giants down in order, but they're in front 4 0. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the right fielder, Chris Bryant. Liner, base hit. Fastball off the plate a little bit, but a really nice job of going with it. Punched it to the opposite field for that knock. Man at first, and the batter now, Ryan McMahon. 0 for 1 so far. Struck him out looking with the off speed stuff. The first baseman, number 44. And here's the first baseman, and Lowry's Montero. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. And a pitch. 
That one ripped right center field. And it bangs off the top of the wall. Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Now it's the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. Here comes a pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. And a pitch. Bounce to the left side. And foul ball. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Yastrzemski makes the grab on the run. Now had a catcher, Austin. And here's the catcher, Austin wins. Good swing out of him last time, ripped a liner in the center. The 2 1. And a foul ball. Two outs and one in scoring position. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. Good job at damage control right there. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 4 1. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in Denver, top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Tyro Estrada. Right-handed reliever. Check swing, didn't go. And that's ball two. And there's the strike. Gets under and pops it up. That one gets down for a hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. Not going to get him. He's in there. He went up there and got it with two strikes. I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there. Coming back in that at bat. So a man aboard. Michael Conforto will climb in. Beautiful swing in his last at bat. Opposite field knock. Pulls that one foul. Runner at second, nobody out. And that's ball four. That's a nice at bat and a great take on 3 2. Probably could have gone either way in that spot around the knees. And Jack Peterson stands in. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. The pitch. Sets him down looking. And a big sigh of relief from the mound with that call third strike. And up next for the Giants, Mike Yastrzemski. Runners at first and second with one gone. He's begging, give me that pitch one more time. A hanging changeup just out in front. 
Swings and misses. Struck him out. So first and second with two outs. Tyler Fitzgerald, the next giant to hit. Next offering is down low. Now three and one. Blake Sable on deck for San Francisco. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. You get a walk. And you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk. And digging in for San Francisco, Blake Sable. Singy, he's got a history of coming through into big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure where their clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. That's a hit! In to score is the runner from third. It's 5-1. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Giants five, and the Rockies one. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's a speed threat, Brenton Doyle. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Yastrzemski makes the grab, one away. Now that the designated hitter, Charlie. So the lineup flips over. There's Chuck Nasty. The two on. Three balls. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Sean Manaya, the southpaw, is throwing and getting that sinker dialed in. Number 74, the right-hander, loosening up as well. And a 3-1 on the way. 3-1, and nope. he couldn't come up with it. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, yeah, knowing yeah, that if it's not on the tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. And here it comes. That just misses. And a count two and one. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. One at second. On to first, double play. And that's the inning. Nothing doing here this half. We're through five. It's the Giants five and the Rockies one. Back here at Coors Field, top six. Here's the third baseman, Casey Schmidt. Next offering misses, and now three and one. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, number 41, up and throwing. Three two now. And a pop up right side foul territory. And there's one down. The bat number 35. Shortstop. Brandon. And that'll bring up Brandon Crawford. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Doyle under this one. Hauls it in, two away. Up next is Giants. The first base. Lamont, Lamont Wade, Wade Jr., the next Wade. Giant to hit. Go, 
swing and a miss. One ball. And a count two one and two. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. Here's a one two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Hard of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Giants 5 and the Rockies 1. New arm for the Giants, Sean Manaya. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. 3-4-5 do up for the home team. Here's the left fielder, Nolan Jones. On the ground to the left, Crawford. And he beats it. He's safe. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. Chris Bryant digging in for the Rockies. On the ground to first, and it goes just foul. With all these Rockies really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a no, chance to see him go to work. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. Another throw. Really keeping them close. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like... Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And out of here. Chris Bryant the other way. And they slice into the lead. It's 5-3. This crowd back alive. got in the jet stream on a line drive. You saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Ryan McMahon digs in now. That one out to right. Yastrzemski, as he glides to his left, and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And now the first baseman, Lowry's Montero. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. The line of the pitch. And another ball. Still only one out here in the inning. Got him looking for the K. Frozen with a backdoor slider. Tremendous job of bringing that ball back over the plate. He gets just enough of it to get the call. And I'll tell you what, as a hitter, it starts out of the zone. It looks really far away. And for it to catch the outside corner, you just have to tip your cap to the pitcher. And that's just foul. Hard hit left side. That ends the inning. But the Rocks bring in two on this big fly. It's now a 5-3 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Ty Block. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Here's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. The second baseman, Tyro Estrada. Ball to strike. And now one and two.
And a 1-2. On the ground, right side. Rodgers tosses to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. That's what a good sinker's designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Michael Conforto will hit next. Two down. To the right side, Rogers. The throw to first. Two up, two down. The left hander, number 23, John Peterson. Here's Jack Peterson. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Around first, heading for two. And he's got his second double of the game. you got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Mike Yastrzemski, the next giant to hit. Next pitch is inside, and it's two and one. And now the lefty. This one in the dirt, well done behind the dish. At the belt and fires. And now it's filled up. Swing and a miss. And that is that. So the Giants leave one as they hang on to their 5-3 lead. Bottom of the seventh. Now at the plate, Austin wins. The catcher, Austin wins. The count two and one. Out to short. Crawford jumps, throws. One up, one down. Up next to Colorado. The center fielder. Next for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. The lefty ready and a 1-1. Hit hard on the ground to short. Over to first, in time. Nice stretch. Now back, the designated hitter, Charlie Blackman. Here's Charlie Blackman. That's down and in. Signs of movement in the Giants' bullpen. Camilo Doval up and throwing for Gabe Kapler. Lifted in the air, out to left. Peterson drifts towards it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Offense held in check there. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Giants five and the Rockies three. So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this spot, Tyler Kinley. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Here's the center fielder, Tyler Fitzgerald. The 1 1. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone.
Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that slider was way out of the zone. And for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Righty delivers. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. That'll fire up the dugout, and they add to the lead. It's 6-3. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Base is empty, one away. Casey Schmidt getting ready to hit. On the ground to third. McMahon oh. fires over to first. Two away. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. Brandon Crawford, the next to hit. Two and one now. Oh, that's out. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Brent Suter getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Wait. Next offering is fouled back. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. And the right-hander deals. That clips the corner. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creep it into my mind right now. That's to third. McMahon fires over to first. Out number three. It's a run for the Giants on the solo blast. It's now 6-3. Back after this on the show. So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Johnny Brebbia. Now pitching for San Francisco, number 59, John Brebbia. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. For the Rockies, the second baseman. One and two here. That one to first. Wade takes it himself. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now back, left fielder, Nolan Jones. Now the left fielder, Nolan Jones. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms in the sport. Check swing, went around. One and two. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Peterson really on his horse for this one. Grabs it on the run. Out number two. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang now a breaking right, ball right, right there. Right. Lucky it stayed Three. in the ballpark. Next to hit for the Rockies, Chris Bryant. He's already homered in this game. And the righty deals. They say it went. Two balls, two strikes. Oh. 
got him swinging. So they go quietly there through eight full. It's the Giants six and the Rockies three. Brent Suter will take over here. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Rockies, number 39, Brent Suter. And digging in for San Francisco, Tyro Estrada. Second baseman, Tyro Estrada. The 1 1. Ground ball up the middle. In there safely. Well, he did all he could at short to try to make an amazing play and almost got it done, but good hustle down the line, and that's an earned infield hit. Michael Conforto, the next giant to hit. Snap throw to first, and he's back in safely. Another throw over, he's and he's back again. Nobody out, runner at first. <laughs> Next pitch misses inside. The count now two and two. Kicks and fires. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Here's a 2 2. Run around the goal. Swing and a miss. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Jock Peterson digs in now. One out and a runner at second. Get that out. Got him looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an at bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. That one missed. Three balls, one strike. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And he's gone for the fourth time tonight. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Five, six, and seven will leave things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Giants six and the Rockies three. New arm for the Giants, Camilo Doval. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're, You're holding a small lead, lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So Camilo it's always high stress. Doval. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Leading Ryan up, McMahon up, now at the plate. The third base when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, McMahon. this guy is at the top of the list. Oh. The next offering misses at a count two and one. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. And the right-handers 3-1. And that one is in for a strike. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? 
Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. All over that one right there. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center yeah, yeah, yeah. field. So that definitely felt good. good. Man at first. So in now for Colorado, the Lowry's Montero. And he hits a ground ball right side, and that's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles. I love that swing, and I'm sure his hitting coach does even more. Took a pitch right on the low outside corner of the zone and just ripped it for a base hit. And that's easier said than done. But Black bringing on a pinch hitter, Elias Diaz. Good opportunity for him. First and second with nobody out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tying run at the plate. On the ground right side. And that one finds its way through. And they're happy to play station to station right here. Bases loaded. Nobody out. One of the hardest things to do in the game. To stay mentally and physically ready for the big opportunity. And he came through for his club right there. Bases loaded. Nobody out. And now the catcher comes up to him. Austin wins to kick the 3 2. And that's going to get into the corner. And he's safe at third as two runs score in the play. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. New pitcher coming on, the veteran, Taylor Rogers. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Harold Castro. And this is a big at bat in this ball game. And a 2-1 on the way. Strike on the inside corner. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. But I think ultimately, you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball. Pitch after pitch in that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. So the Rockies lineup turns over. And the batter now, Charlie Blackman. So now with one swing, this guy could end it. Line drive, base hit. One runs in. Fitzgerald fires it to the plate. In comes the winning run. And the Rockies win it on a walk-off 7-6. Scoring one run in the ninth is pretty difficult because the quality of arms and the focus on every single pitch. But to score four runs for the win, an incredible comeback. This showed us a lot. Nice win for these guys today. One run game here today. Your final score, seven to six. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.